Next, I'll show you how to add your employees to your account, both individually and in mass. When you click on your Employees tab, you'll be taken to a list of your employees with a summary of their information. It's from this screen that you can choose to individually add each employee to your account, or you can import a pre-existing file. If you have an Excel or a CSV file with your employees' information, I highly recommend uploading that to the system. All you'll have to do is specify which columns you're looking to import and what they mean to the system. After that, you'll simply have to choose if you want to invite your employees right away or if you'd prefer to wait until your system is up and running. To be clear, your users do need to be invited to your account as opposed to creating their own. Once you invite them, either via email, which we recommend, or via mobile number, they'll be sent a link. It's through this link that they'll be able to create their passwords and join your company account. This is the only way they'll be able to see their schedules that you create and publish for them. If you'd like to add your users one by one, simply click on the Add Employee button. This allows you to enter that employee's name, email, phone number, you can specify their time zone, their system role, and their ID if applicable, as well as assign them to positions and locations. Please keep in mind that each user can be assigned to more than one location and the multiple positions if necessary. If this user is going to be a manager, you can also give them access to your labor cost information, which we'll go over later. I want to go back to the system role option that you see here. There are three different system roles. Admins are usually the creator of the account and have the highest level of access. Their role can see everything and everyone with minimal restrictions. Please note that only admins can create other admins and you can have as many as necessary. Managers are the next system role and managers only have dominion over the location that they're assigned to. They can create shifts, approve shift exchanges, and enter and approve time off, but only for the location that they're assigned to. Employees have the most basic access. They're able to view and print their own schedule, apply to available shifts and make their own shifts available, and they can communicate with all other employees via messages. They cannot create or edit their own shifts, positions, or locations in their profile.